Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week is the Z8 from Motorola, a movie-inspired mobile phone complete with born identity. And here it is. Unless you're an international hitman, chances are you'll be using the Z8 in the park, down the pub, or just at work. You know how everybody's telling you that you need music on your phone and that's the next big thing? Well, the next big thing after that happens to be video. And Motorola feel it's going to try and steal the march on the move to watching video on your, on your mobile on the go by this phone. The screen is, uh, is very strong, it's very crisp, it's very clean. Uh, it has 16 million colours and it's 2.2 inches in diagonal. Also bundled in the box is Born Identity just in time for the third episode to come out of the cinema. And that comes on a little card this size, which is, you know, pretty tiny. Plug that in. Pop it on, press play, and you're watching Born Identity or any movie, video, TV show that you want to watch. The MobiClip player, which is the main way of playing movies or TV shows on the Z8, is quite a simple affair, and anybody watching DVD with the skip capability will be sorely disappointed. You can fast forward the movie, as we can show you here, as well as being able to rewind if you've uh, missed something because the tannoy on the train said, next stop, which is, is quite handy. What is nice is a feature that's on this is called resume, and it allows you to uh, go back to the last point that you were watching, whether that's two minutes ago or whether it's seven days ago. And as long as you haven't played any other media in, bef in between, you can uh, zoom back. So if you're watching a long movie, for example, The Bourne Identity is almost two hours, then and your train journey is only 30 minutes, then you can keep on resuming where you left off across the week. So we've got our video playing and there's two options for listening to the sound. One is that the built-in speaker on the actual phone, we'll just turn that up. So you can either, if there's a couple of you watching, you can uh, enjoy, the, enjoy the film that way. Or well, the second option is by um, connecting to the Bluetooth headphones that come in the box. Now what's really cool about these is that, yes, there's no wires, so you just connect, pair the two up as if you would do a, a normal Bluetooth headset. And then this just uh, flips over your head, plugs into your ears, and you can carry on watching. The headphones are also good for when it comes to listening to music as they have a skip track back and forward and play and pause button as well as uh, volume controls and, the, and a pickup for, uh, for when you actually get a phone call, God forbid. We hate the Blu-ray HDVD thing. What the hell is going on? Just Just why can't you sort it out? Go down the pub, have a drink, work it out, come out of one format. It's not hard. It's like, just please. Just sort it. You know, I'd love to get involved in Next Generation. I'd love to sort of say, hey, this is Blu-ray, This is uh, that's the one for me, or this is HDVD, that's the one for me. But, you know, I just want a single format. Like, it worked for DVD. I mean, maybe a really good idea is you get the chief man from Blu-ray, the chief man from Toshiba, throw them in a ring, make them go 10 rounds. Bang, 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 bang. That's what we hate about it. It's just like, come on, decide, please. Where the phone comes into its own is on boring train journeys when you've got nothing else to do apart from, you know, watch some video and uh, the screen is really good it's, it's really crisp there's lots of colors it's certainly clean enough and crisp enough to watch uh, to watch to see subtitles which sometimes when you're watching a phone you, you know you can hardly see anything um, we're not sure whether we'd like to watch a whole hour uh, two hours worth of feature movie um, glued to this little screen oh bobbing up and down, we think we might get a bit sick after a while. But certainly watching smaller things, you know, like 10 minute shows like Megawatt, for example, good plug, I know, um, it would be would be easy to watch and, and great for the commute. Overall, we we actually really like the video. We think it's quite good. We, we would like a bigger screen, but then, you know, you, it's a phone. You can't have everything. <laughs> Rather than just being a one-trick pony, specialising only in video, the Motorola Z8 also has the ability to do lots of other things, which is pretty handy. And that's quite unusual, really, because most phones, when they're trying to specialise in something, don't really do other stuff. I mean, a great example is the uh, two-megapixel camera on the back. 
allows you to snap away whenever you're out and about. Another one that we quite like is the interface. Rather than choose to opt for the shocking, let's face it, damn right appalling interface that most Motorola phones have, they've gone for a smartphone interface that doesn't have an emphasis on smartphone. So that allows you to add new applications, to expand and improve on the operating system itself, and it's a certainly a welcomed approach to the phone. Finally, what's interesting the most is that it has HSDPA connectivity. This is like sort of broadband for your mobile, and it's quite strange to see the speed of connection in a phone such as this because this is a consumer phone, not a business model, not a, you know, something that you check your emails on. And so it's quite a sort of, it shows that, that Motorola is actually thinking ahead for a change, which is quite unusual. We love DVD movie rental services. Why do we love them? Well, because let's face it, we're lazy buggers. I'm lazy, you're probably lazy as well. Hey, you're sitting here inside when it's nice and sunny outside watching this. That's gotta mean you're lazy. Now, what better way to watch a movie than to have it just come through your post box? You go online, you press the button, you go ding, 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 I'll have that one, that's great. And then, a couple of days later, it's there. You get to keep it for as long as you like. If you really don't, you know, want to stand there for 25 minutes going, I don't know what to watch. Then this is the way to do it, because then you can just choose in the comfort of your own house, and then it just comes and it arrives and you watch it, and then you send it back. And that's why we love the convenience of it all, and we love DVD movie rental services. Like Bourne Ultimatum, this phone is gadget packed. There's you know plenty to see here, the movie functions, the HSDPA, the camera, there's loads. One of the things we forgot to mention, which we especially like, is the Sky Anytime option which is a pre-installed application that allows you to control your skybox from anywhere in the world. But what's the catch? What's that sort of chink in, in the, the agent, the hitman's armour? Well, there's quite a bit, to be honest. The keyboard, for example, isn't really that tactile, so you have to really nudge the keys hard to, uh, to actually get any response. There's also the fact that when we first got the phone, we loved it. We thought it was really shiny. It was, you know, nice. It was just... We really liked it. And, and, and as the days have gone by when we've been playing with it, we've found ourselves not liking that much day by day. So the screen smudges really simply, you know, really quickly, easily, because it's, it's shiny, that the keys we don't like, that the interface is confusing and cumbersome. It's, it's considerably better than Motorola's previous efforts, but it's still not 100% there. And there's the Bluetooth headset. That's great, but you can't pause and control the actions of the video with the headset on. And, and so really it just comes up to being confused. They've sort of almost, for every step forward, they've gone two steps back. So they've, they've forgotten, just like Bourne himself, pretty much some of the core elements that you need to remember. Overall though, from a consumer point of view, it's, it's a good offering. If video is the thing that you want to watch, then you know this is great. This will certainly fill that gap, that void, and will allow you to watch movies, TV, megawatt, on the go, wherever you are. Coming to surfing the web, that's great, you know, you can do that as well. But then as soon as you start entering the web addresses or wanting to reply to emails, it, you're back to an ordinary keyboard again and it all slows up. I think overall that the phone is good, but it, it's just a tiny bit confused. And we're hoping that Ultimatum, on in a couple of days' time, is going to be so much better than the phone when it eventually comes out. Well, that's it for Megawatt this week. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I'll uh, see you next time for the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. Thanks very much. See you soon.